exiled Congolese in South Africa are outraged over the DRC's government's decision to refuse presidential hopeful Moise Katumbi uh, to rerun in the much anticipated December polls. Opposition leader Katumbi has lived in self imposed exile in Belgium since May 2016 after falling out with Kabila. He was refused to go back to his home province of Lubumbashi due to a threat of arrest over his impending charge. Vava Tampa, the founder of Save the Congo, joins us now via Skype from Brussels in Belgium. Vava, thank you very much for talking to us at this uh, point in time. Um, well, what we know thank is you. that uh, Moise has been refused, uh, 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 not even refused, but uh, he, he has learned that upon entry into Congo, it's straight to the cells. How does that make you feel? Well, we, we knew this all along. This is an issue. This is a point we have been arguing from day one, which is we cannot expect free and fair and transparent elections under Mr. Kabila. It's because of this that we have been saying that the best thing at this point is to have a civilian transition without Mr. Kabila or any opposition figure, a transition led by an independent figure, someone like Dennis Mukwege, so that we can organize elections that would be free, fair and transparent. I mean, just say... Imagine Jean-Pierre Bemba, who spent 10 years in the, at the ICC for crimes against humanity and war crimes, he is allowed to come back, he's allowed to return without a problem. Moïse Katundi, on the, on the other hand, he's not allowed to come back, nor allowed to present his candidacy. Mm -hmm. There are hundreds, dozens of other opposition figures in prison as we speak, and civic leaders. And the, essentially, under Mr. Kabila, we cannot expect a free and fair and transparent election. And without those elections being free, fair and transparent, it's going to lead into more crisis, more killing, and more instability. We need a civilian transition without Kabila, led by Mukwege, to organize free, fair, and transparent elections. Well, chance, chances are your expectations or your what what you, you you're saying you would uh, rather have, which is this uh, civilian transition, you are not going to get that. Um, Kabila has refused to leave office uh, for so long, so far. So chances of him acceding to that demand are very very minimal, if any at all. Do you know of? Uh, uh, Mr. Katumbi's uh, whereabouts at the moment and what his options are? Well, Mr. Katumbi, as far as I know, he still is in Zambia, uh, hoping that he would be granted access to, to return back to Congo so that he can present his candidacy. Um, the, the, the date, the deadline is the 8th of, of, of this month, which is a Wednesday. Um, but, but, but look, look, one thing I need to make absolutely clear on this one is this. Okay, this is not just a Congolese issue. This is an entire SADC issue, okay? Mr. Kabila listens to what South Africa says. Mr. Kabila takes into account what Angola says, what Botswana says, what other SADC countries say. The SADC leader cannot allow Mr. Kabila essentially to rig these elections, to place the entire country and the entire region in such instability. This is what we are saying, that President Ramaphosa, President Lorenzo in Angola, uh, President Masisi in Botswana need to take a stand and they need to force. This is not a choice. The Congolese people are not giving us this a choice. And Sadek should follow the Congolese and support the Congolese and say to Kabila, you have to leave. These people deserve better. They deserve an election. And we're going to put together a civilian transition to organize the elections. Why should that be Sadek's role? Why can't you talk to your president? We have been talking to Kabila for the past three years. I'll just speak to you. I have lost friends who have died in violence committed by Mr. Kabila. I have friends who are in prison as we speak, potentially being tortured. Some of my valued uh, opposition leaders are in prison. Look, look, 
we need to understand this issue. SADC, South African soldiers have died fighting for peace and stability in Congo. So did Zimbabwean soldier and Namibian soldiers. They did so for the betterment of not just the Congolese, but the entire SADC region and the entire African for solidarity. And we cannot allow one single man for his own greed, refusing to organize elections refusing to see power, condemning an entire country of 70, 80 million people into this barbaric regime. That is unacceptable. ECOWAS in, in West Africa did so with Yaya Jami in Gambia. SADC should do the same. They should take the stand, say to Kabila, this is enough. You have killed enough. You have served your terms. You have to leave. If you don't leave by force, if you don't leave calmly, peacefully, we are going to force you to leave by force. Does... Moise Katumbi have enough support in Congo to be able to carry his aspirations? I mean, uh, would there be people who would uh, bring Congo to a standstill because he is not there? Well, that, that, that's the issue we are facing. I mean, clearly, if Moise Katumbi is not allowed to stand, what about his supporters? How are they going to feel? They are, they are going to lose trust in this process in these elections is going to affect the credibility of this election. And this election is already facing so many other problems. So we, we, refusing or having a preferential treatment, preferring Jean-Pierre Bemba uh, over Katumbi because Bemba used to be a warlord and he fought on the same side, or Bemba was supported by what, you know, the, a similar side as you and we feel, that, that, those are unacceptable. We cannot play with a nation the way in which Kabila is playing with Congolese lives. Look, in Congo, as we speak, in the crisis in that country, over 5.5 million people have been killed. We cannot allow Mr. Kabila to continue this mess. This is not just a Congolese issue. This is an entire Sadek issue. And we are hoping South Africa would stand with us. We are hoping Angola, Namibia, Botswana would stand in solidarity with the Congolese people and force Mr. Kabila out so that we can also enjoy a democratic election. And that is all we are asking for, okay. a democratic election. Have you spoken to President Ramaphosa? We, we haven't yet. We have been okay. trying. We have been trying with the, uh, with the ambassador here in London and in Brussels and so on and so forth. Um, our people, we have a team in South Africa who are trying to see okay. different figures within the ANC. We, we, I mean, South Africa is one of our biggest allies in this fight. All right. And, and as well as Angola and Botswana. So we are really hoping they are going to come through and support us in our fight for a free, fair, and transparent elections. And that's what okay. we are asking for, free, fair, and transparent elections. Vava Tampa is the founder of Save the Congo and was speaking to us via Skype from Brussels and Belgium.